So what is up guys, man? It's your boy the boy, Dills Online here guys, man. I'm back with another video right now. And today's video is gonna be slightly a bit different. So earlier in the week, I had a thought. And I thought sometimes I spend all this money and I deep. Is it really worth it? Like, is it really worth that much money? A lot of people think that, like before they go out to buy something, is it worth that money? Should I really buy it? Well, they buy it right now and they deep, like it's not worth that much money. So as everyone knows out there, man, Canada Goose jackets are probably one of the most expensive jackets out there right now. So this video right here is gonna detail like, my experience with the jacket and go through a few details on the jacket itself and show you guys is this jacket worth the money. So for those who don't know anything about Canada Goose, I'm gonna run through a few quick details. A media manufacturer that sells like apparel, clothing, outdoor clothing. Started in 1957 by a guy named Sam Tick. Probably one of the biggest outdoor like coat markets in the world right now. It's currently under a lot of pressure and scrutiny because of the use of animal fur that uses on its jackets. Lil Uzi made a song called Canada Goose. Oh! Guys, to start off with, I bought this jacket directly from the retailer. This is a normal edition, it's not a black edition, but it came in a black box, no carton. Inside the box was a jacket, but also came with a Canada Goose specialized um, dry cleaner bag. I have yet to take a dry cleaner, but I need to, but this bag looks nice. Also came with a hanger. Um, <sighs> Blood, ask me where it is because I have no clue. The box, the box looks nice, came with a dragon bag that looks crisp, and it came with a hanger that looked clean. Yet me, all black, everything blacked out, but the jacket came in grey. Let's get the jacket for you guys right now. And I got the grey Langford Parker. This one cost me £825. But like I said, guys, man, it's gone up in price to about £900, which is roughly £1,200, $1,300 right now. So it's a pretty pricey jacket. See, this is the jacket right now, guys. Shake it off a bit. Shake it off, shake it off. Oh, oh. As you can see, the left side pocket has the Canada Goose label. Let me show you right now. I'm show you, I'm gonna show you guys the proper details of the jacket. Canada Goose stitching right there. Premium stitching. It's slightly coming off on the sides, but for 820 pound, I don't expect that. Um, <laughs> I guess I'm being a bit picky, but yeah, as I see on the right side, hasn't got that. Says so that's a Velcro. Just simple Velcro. Can't go too wrong with that. This part right here keeps your hand so warm. It fits your whole hand. It fits your whole hand in there. It fits snug and warm. Like you really can't complain with this jacket. Really, you can't complain. So, like I said, guys, man, I'm a guy. I just like. I don't like buttons. I don't like buttons. I hate buttons. But I like zips, and I don't mind Velcro. So that's why I went for the Lancaster Parker because it's got no buttons. So as you can see from the front, Velcro and buttons. Velcro, well, Vel uh, Velcro and zips. So you zip up the jacket and then Velcro it straight over. Like, so? Yeah, me? Like, so? During the winter months, this jacket keep me nice. Keep me nice, snug, warm, clean, fresh. I cannot lie. On the interior, you have like a rectangular padding, which is really good, soft and firm. As well, you can, that's why you adjust your jacket. Got the buttons, you can adjust it like so. For those saying that man's jacket's fake right now, let me show you the legit part. Let me show you the legitness of this jacket. Let me get on my knees, yeah? Let me see. It ha every kind of Goose jacket, more or less, has to have this to prove its authenticity. So, have my, what's my one right there? I'm trying to get the light in. I'm kind of covering the light. But look at that. Rainbow! But yeah, that's it all there. And you think, why does it hang out? It actually fits in a pocket, this black pocket there. So, it fits all in that pocket. I kind of took it out just for you guys to see. If you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. It keeps you very warm. It's one of those jackets where you can wear it with a t shirt inside at like a, like a house party and stuff and you still look calm, you don't look too hot and then you can put it on, zip it up outside and you're still warm enough. That's what I'm saying. That's probably a mixed jacket. So I like that I can wear it with a t-shirt inside and still feel cool and then go outside and still feel calm at the same time. You get me? You get me? Cool. Um, let's go into the detailing of the logo. So, focus. Oh! That looks crispy. See, my my one came with messed up stitching when I first got mine, I can't lie. For 825 pound, I don't expect messed up stitching, but that's how my one came. But look how crispy that looks. That looks fresh. Look at it in the light. Oh! That looks fresh, man. That looks nice. I've had this about three, four months. I, pre I keep it in pretty good condition, and the stitching is already wearing off. I don't know. For 800 pound, you maybe expect a bit of stronger stitching or better stitching, but it is hand stitched by I think women in Canada. Um, but it's alright. I think I maybe I may be being a bit picky, but spending all that money, you kind of have to be picky. You get me? I think the stitching's coming off already as well, and I keep the jacket in pretty good condition, and the stitching's coming off. Picky, let me know in the comment section down below if I'm being too picky. The stitching's already coming off in some parts, and I've only had the jacket for maybe three to four months. It's a nice color though. Like it's probably the best color. I'm a big fan of grey. 
a very big fan of grey and I didn't want black because everyone has black. I guess guys it's time for the most controversial part of the video and that's gotta be the fur. So I ain't gonna lie, these jackets come with, some of the new edition jackets come with white fur but some of the old edition jackets come with the brown fur guys. There we go, so that's focus now, but that's the fur. Got white fur, um, I think on the darker jackets you tend to get black, brown fur, black fur. But on this one, the more, I think the more the lighter colours, you get white fur. It's fluffy. Just how I like my girl, I like the fur. Fluffy. As I said, it's like a fashion statement. This jacket itself is more of a fashion statement. This fur is able to be uh, taken off. So you can see... Like... Ugh, kind of messed that one up. <laughs> like so. It's actually a separate part of the jacket. It's not part of the jacket whatsoever. So let me show you what it looks like. It looks pretty thick like this. But it's not that thick in person, but um, that's it, I'm up close. I know I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this part, but I'm showing you guys what you spend your money on. And for a lot of people that buy these jackets, this is half of the money really going to it right now. But without the fur, you still can rock it. Like, it still looks calm to rock, even without, like, even without the fur. You get me? Without the, without the fur, it still looks calm to rock. Um, I still prefer the fur on it because it has like a... It's like a feature to the jacket, but you still can rock it without the fur if you're against fur. Well, if you're against fur, I don't know why you'd buy one of these jackets, but um... Each to their own. I don't make your decisions for you. Cool? Cool. So guys, going on to the final part of the video. Is it worth it? Is this jacket worth £825? Currently £900 um, retail. Um, no. Not really worth £800. I spent £825. For this jacket, after using it for about three months, I say this jacket's worth maybe about... 500, 550 most because the fur itself is going to have to at least be about 2, 250 and I say for the jacket maybe about 400 so maybe maybe, maybe a bit bit too, too short I say about 600 pounds is the max I pay for this jacket um, if I was to buy it again I saw these jackets ages ago about 5, 6 years ago when they were about 500 pounds and I was going to buy it then but I was broke as ever then so I didn't buy the jacket it's probably my favourite jacket they've ever released the favourite colourway as well um, I really do like the jacket a lot, it's a fashion statement, it does, really look, it does look really good on. You can wear it out with more or less anything and it goes with most things as well. I see it as 300 to £400 just for the jacket, about £200 for the fur and about £200 just for the fashion statement. So that £200 is probably just branding itself. But if you want to get an alternative, I went to Harrods the other day. I don't really know the brands of the other jackets in Harrods but there was a lot of jackets that look very similar to this. So if you go Harrods, I think it's the... Fifth floor in Harris, they have got a lot of similar jackets to this. And like I said, guys, man, I want to do more videos where I'm reviewing clothing because I spend most of my money on food, on on food, and clothing. Is it worth it? It is not, and it's worth about six hundred pounds in my opinion. So that's it for the video, guys. Right about now, man. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like right now. Subscribe if you're new. So it's been your boy, the boy deals online here, guys. Man, I hope you guys have a very good evening, man. God bless and safe far. Yeah.